Hello, my name is Scott Middlebrooks. I work here at ASML in the research department. And for today's whiteboard session, I'll be answering the question, what does EUV mean for our system optics? After our last whiteboard session, we got lots of questions saying, well, now we're going to EUV as our light source. What changes did we need to make in the optics of our system? The first big change we needed to make is we need to operate out of vacuum because we all know that EUV light is absorbed quite readily by materials. The second uh, change we needed to make is we needed to abandon the use of lenses. If we use lenses in our system, any wavelength, uh, any light that enters this lens at this wavelength will just be absorbed. Now we could go to mirrors, simple mirrors, but again, it won't reflect because this material will just absorb light at this wavelength. So what we want to use is a mirror known as a Bragg mirror or a dielectric mirror. The way it works basically is you have st stacks of different types of material. And each of these stacks is just a few nanometers in thickness. And we want to find combinations of materials such that we can tune the reflectivity uh, as a function of specific wavelengths of light. So if we look at a plot of reflectivity versus the wavelength of light for materials such as silicon or maybe molybdenum, it has this type of, of curve. So we have this peak reflectivity at a wavelength of light at 13.5 nanometers, which is perfect for our, our scanners. So we want to make a Bragg mirror out of the materials silicon and molybdenum. So for each of these layers, we then create a little layer of silicon, a little layer of molybdenum, another layer of silicon, and on. And we make about 40 of these different uh, layers. So what this does then, if we have incident light go through this material, little bitty reflections come off each of these layers. We then collect all these reflections and we have one big reflection that we send on to the rest of our scanner. For this to work, this surface has to be very smooth. The size of this mirror is about 30 centimeters in diameter. If I were to take this, this mirror, which is manufactured by Zeiss in Germany, if I were to take this 30 centimeters, scale it to the size of Germany, any surface defects would only be about one millimeter. So this is quite, quite smooth, this mirror. In fact, at the risk of being hyperbolic, this is probably the smoothest man-made structure in the universe. So if you have any questions, please post them below. And uh, thank you for watching.